So now you have an understanding of what inventory looks like in Glassback LX. You know how to view your IC items, and you know a couple of ways to adjust the stock on hand. You also know that IC items are created the first time they are received into stock, either on a purchase order or a manual receipt. But now how do we get started? How do we create that first set of inventory items? This is our recommendation to anyone who begins using the inventory module. First, go ahead and delete any practice items you have showing up in this finder. If you have any stock on hand of those items, you'll need to adjust those out first. So adjust everything to zero and then delete the items. Next, decide what items you want to track and make sure they are set to be tracked and sourced. I'll remind you that NAG's glass is set to be tracked under the IC configuration right here. If you need a refresher on the NAG's inventory control options, just go back and view that video again. All other products are set in their individual maintenance screen right here. Once you've made sure you've marked to track anything you actually want to track, go to Purchasing, Vendor Maintenance, and create a vendor for the sole purpose of starting up inventory. Call it something obvious, like Begin Inventory. And since this field is required, I'm just going to fill it with zeros. And over here I'm going to check all these boxes that I'm going to need to make that first purchase order. All these okay. Let's save that. Now let's make a purchase order using that vendor we just made. And now what you want to do is count up the number of units and the per unit cost for all the stock on hand you currently have that you want to load into your inventory module to begin the inventory. And then start to add them to this purchase order by quantity and unit cost. And NAG's items, remember you can type the number I'm going to tab. I recommend for glass parts like flat glass where you're using thicknesses such as this one. Go ahead and use the product lookup and select it that way so that you can accurately specify the thickness which will play into the item's number. See that? A NeoClear cut dash one quarter. So the thickness will play into the actual item number of dimensional flat glass parts, parts with thicknesses. I'll add another one here. Remember, if the item number shows in purple on this form, it means that item number is not recognized as an inventory item in our database. Either the necessary checkboxes have not been checked in the product's maintenance screen, or you've mistyped the ID. Once you have everything on here that you want to load in your inventory launch, I'm going to make a note here. Place the order. Yes, I'm going to lock it in. And then just go ahead and receive that order. And since I know everything is correct, I'm going to click Auto Receive All Items. I'm going to save the receipt. Let me go back to my IC Item Maintenance under the Inventory menu. Click Find Now. And that way you have now launched inventory.